Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel Kalakriti by Poruma. Uh, it's a relatively new channel and before I move on to today's topic which is Jamdani, I would first request my patrons and followers to subscribe to this channel, press the bell icon and uh, like and share and subscribe as much as possible. If you like my channel, if you like these videos, do share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe to my channel. Today I thought I would share uh, a little bit of whatever knowledge I've gathered on this topic of Jamdani uh, with my friends because I see that other than Bengali women who have like seen their mothers wearing Jamdani saris and they have quite a bit of their own personal collection of Jamdanis, uh, women from other communities who like to own the beautiful and elegant looking authentic Jamdani get very misinformed and confused and there's a lot of misconception uh, regarding this sari which is the Jamdani and there are various types of Jamdanis floating in the market right now uh, most of which are actually authentic but women get a little confused. Let me first tell you that I'm not a weaving or a textile expert, but being a handloom enthusiast and being very passionate about saris myself, I have um, I have uh, a decent collection of jamdanis myself from bought from uh, many parts of India. Yes, from North and from South India and from Bangladesh. And today I will share that knowledge with you, and so that that will help you to select what kind of jamdani you want to wear and what exactly you want to buy and whether you know identifying whether that jamdani is an authentic one which means that whether it's properly it's it's authentically handmade handloom or it's made in a power loom so first i will tell you that the jamdani weaving technique flourished in undivided bengal when uh, modern bangladesh and west bengal was undivided and the Jamdani is a very, very ancient weaving technique. Ancient means it flourished under the Mughals, it flourished under uh, the weavers who wove the finest cotton, which was muslin at that time. Uh, that weaving technique was practiced all over Bengal. And depending on the area in which it was woven, that very Jamdani technique uh, you know, differed from one place to another. Like there is the Tangail Jamdani weaving technique, which is based on a finer cotton and which uh, uses slightly different motifs than the Thakai Jamdani, which was woven in Narayan Ganj in and around Dhaka. It still is, of course. It uh, falls in Bangladesh right now after the partition. And the Tangail Jamdani uh, technique is practiced in the West Bengal and uh, right now it is known as the Fulia Jamdani which of course is what exactly I am wearing right now. This is actually the old Tangail Jamdani and this is a jungla, jungla motif. The base is that of a very very fine Bengal cotton. This is one of the finest Bengal cottons. Mind you it's not it yes it was st slightly starched in the beginning but I've worn this sari many many times it is not transparent and now it has become very, very soft and smooth. It's pure cotton, a very, very fine cotton. It's not netty and meshy. It doesn't have a mosquito net sort of a texture and it's very, very fine. And one sure shot way of identifying an authentic handwoven jamdani like any other sari is check its reverse side. This is the front side. And this is the reverse side. You will not find a single extra thread, which is, you know, you won't uh, find extra threads which have been cut like you find in a cutwork sari or loosely hanging from here and there. It's just like, you know, the sari and the design is woven onto each other. It's like a print. From a distance, it might look like a print but it's a robust weave and it's it's very very beautiful and it's almost like you know the design is etched onto the body of the sari this is the jungla pattern and i'll show you the uh, palla this is the archal of the saris how beautiful it is 
it's from my personal collection i bought it like five six years back i've worn it many many times it's a deep midnight blue with an all-over work see you won't find a single extra thread this part still has a bit of starch onto it but this part has become very very soft and you know i like it that way so i'm not starching it anymore right now it's very very comfortable and very gorgeous of course ideal for summer ideal for i would say nine months a year in our kind of weather uh getting back to what i was saying that you will find this kind of pulia jamdani sarees on a base of cotton or silk or organza silk or silk cotton in any authentic bengal uh, handloom store i can name a few uh, you uh, this is especially for my friends who live outside bengal and who are not bengalis who are from other communities who would like to buy an authentic jamdani if you're not visiting kolkata and if you're in any of the metro uh, metro uh, cities you can look for the bisho bangla store which of course has a uh west bengal government management so you can search for fulia jamdani sarees on silk and organza you find very beautiful sarees over there of course they are costly but these sarees take a long time to weave and you know they are like owning a patani or uh banarasi they are like that so exotic so you will find them in the bikshu bangla store or if you are visiting kolkata you can straight forward go to any of the uh, old and trusted bengal sari stores and search for these sarees these are abundantly available and the variety is mind blowing or you can just you know if you want uh, that government assurance sort of thing about pricing and uh, authenticity you can just crash into any of the tantuja stores tantuja also has an online presence but if you go into a real store the variety you'll find is of course much much bigger that's owned by west bengal government and uh, the textile department that is and you'll find very nice sarees over there and of course if you go to our good old garia hat market in south calcutta these sarees are abundantly available just check for uh, the purity of the textile don't go for mercerized cotton go for pure cotton mercerized cotton most of the time is like mixed cotton it's not always pure but go for pure cotton these are abundantly available and uh, these are woven in west bengal now let me show you uh, here in kalakriti i also have a beautiful tangal jamdani in my stock it's the same as this one i mean uh, quality and texture wise is the same very very fine cotton this one is a jungla design this one is a multi colored booty dart design on very very fine pure cotton and see how beautiful the palla is let me also just mention the price the price of this one is 8500 very compelling price for a very very beautiful sari this is available let me know if you are interested uh i will now show you uh traditional dhakai jamdani sari which are now like post partition dhaka and the part that fell in bangladesh they started weaving the dhakai jamdani and now of course they also have their own gi this is a very very old sari which belonged to my mother one of the finest heirloom sarees which i own see it's a it's a kora white which is an undyed white body and with a multicolored jal uh, booty dar jal design actually all these designs are derived from the mogul designs so and again as i told you check the reverse see no extra thread no cut work nothing the front and the reverse is same it is exactly same see how beautiful it is and also see how fine the cotton base of the sari is it is not transparent it is not jal jal as i said that the cotton will not be like a net it will be very fine and very very finely woven i don't know whether i can show you properly but you can see that it's so fine woven that it's not transparent and yet it is very soft again all these sarees when they come fresh they are a bit starched but with wear 
they become as soft as this. So a real authentic cotton jamdani, cotton by cotton jamdani, will be fine woven and it will be very soft. And um, of course it will not be cheap. It will not um, come cheap because as I said these threads are very fine and they take a very long time to weave a saris like this which if you want to buy now like the one I just showed it will cost you close to 40 to 50 thousand rupees in Indian currency and because these saris take two three months to be woven and the thread is very very fine um, I don't keep saris like this in my collection but of course there are many others who keep them and of course there are authentic places from where you can buy just check for the quality and go for pure cotton of course even these saris the bangladeshi saris you can find in muslin and silk cotton and many other threads but i think this is my personal opinion that a true blue dhakai jamdani looks best and most classy in finest uh, pure cotton. They call it chikon shuta. Chikon means fine. So always ask for chikon shuto and a chikon weave. It should not be like starchy and you know it should. Um, uh, I've seen saris which like they hurt against your skin. They are so coarse and like the starch is so it's so heavily starch. No, not that. Not like that. And after the starch goes, the thing becomes like a mosquito net and all see through and all that. No, that's not good quality. That's very 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 average quality jamdani but if you really want to go for the good stuff go for fine 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 cotton you can't see between the weave between the warp and the weft the cotton should be that finely woven it's like that it's in textile word it's known as count count of cotton go for the fineness of thread and the count of cotton that should tell you how uh, you know authentic and how beautiful the weave is I'll show you another variety. This uh, has of late come into fashion. This is the Andhra Jamdani. Here, this of course is a personal sari. I have bought it from uh, when Gorang's Jamdani became very fashionable. I bought one from the Gorang collection. This is a six, seven year old sari. This has a Jamdani woven pallu and uh, it has Actually, it's called the Andhra Jamdani, but they have actually taken the Bengal Jamdani weaving te uh, technique and infused it with the Andhra technique of Gadwal Sari weaving, where the body is cotton and the border is silk. And see how beautifully they have woven it with the temple. This is silk, but you know, this is cotton, this is silk. So this is the uh, Gadwal weaving technique. So Gorang being one very uh, designer keeps on innovating first introduced this technique and he you know kind of embellished the pallu with a jamdani pallu and his jamdani became hot on the international ramp so you will find a lot of andhra jamdanis also again what i said check for the reverse you won't find a single extra thread it's just like a painting on a piece of cloth it is so beautiful so this is the Andhra Jamdani which you will find a lot of Goran saris and of course there are a lot many other uh, weavers who are making saris like this also. This, this as I again showed is the Dhakai Jamdani on cotton. This is the Tangail Jamdani which is woven in Fulia. This is a Butidar design. And the one I'm wearing is also a jamla design, which is woven in Pulia. This is also a Pulia Jamdani. I hope I've made you a little O. Oh, the most important point which I wanted to share with you is, uh, there are Jamdanis known as soft dhakais, soft Jamdanis, Cutwork Jamdanis. These are not authentic. Mind you, in Kalakriti by Poruma, I have also sold many of these because they sell like hot cakes just because they're extremely pocket friendly they come in beautiful colors but mind you they are power loom woven uh, they are not uh, hand loom saris and they have mixed because they are power loom woven 
they have a mixed thread in them, not always pure cotton. How to check that? Soft dhakai or soft jamdanis have a mixed thread which makes them soft to touch initially, they are not starched. That is why they are very popular, but they are also not pure cotton. And as I said, not entirely hand woven, they are power loom woven. And you check by checking the reverse, you will see cut work threads. They are also very, very pocket friendly. They are very inexpensive. They are like one tenth of a price of a, a pure jamdani, which will be pure cotton and purely hand woven. Uh, having that sort of an elaborate design to have an authentic jamdani you have to pay 10 times as much but uh, so many people buy that if they don't have the budget for a real jamdani but my, let me tell you if you want to uh, invest in a real jamdani I'm sure everyone wants to have a proper a pure and authentic jamdani in their wardrobe in their collection be prepared to pay a uh, good price the price the budget that you might have for a benarasi or a kanjivaram or a silk please do pay that price to have an authentic fulia or a dhakai jamdani with that budget because mind you you are not only paying for a sari you are paying for two to three months worth of intense hard labor you're paying for a very very old art weaving technique you're paying to keep that alive and you're saving you're standing by an entire weaving family and entire weaving community thank you and have a safe time till we go back to a safer and a better world post this pandemic of coronavirus all of you stay safe keep watching kalakriti keep following handloom and keep supporting handloom and handcrafted art. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. If you like, please subscribe. Thank you.